All right, folks, today we are grilling this amazing looking pork loin one pot. So stay tuned. It's time to grill. Let's get this video started with a nice looking pork tenderloin. We're going to clean that a little bit, cut away the tip and the head of the tenderloin and then cut this into three or four pieces. All you have to do is salt before grilling. We are using some kosher sea salt here today. Just make sure to get some salt everywhere. And then heat up your grill. We have already preheated a starting chimney full of charcoal. And we're gonna hit that into that kettle grill and heat it up. After heating up the grates and cleaning them, grill your pork tenderloin about four minutes per side and make sure to get some grill marks everywhere. This pork tenderloin pot gets his best flavor with grill flavor straight away like we do it here and of course juiciness. This is why we don't need to kill that tenderloin twice. Make sure to grill it to an internal temperature of 58 degrees Celsius so it's juicy and still pink in the center a little bit. I'll show you later. Just make sure as I mentioned to grill it almost everywhere and then move to indirect heat. Keep an eye on the internal temperature, close the lid and after you hit 58 degrees Celsius internal temp take it off and cool down. Of course this is very easy with the actual temperature in my backyard. Just leave it outside. Remove the cast iron grate and place a cast iron pot inside the charcoals. Start adding 250 grams of diced bacon. I still have some great chili oil left so I decided to add some of that chili flavored olive oil at this point. It adds nice heatness, nice heatness and gives a great color, followed by onions. And of course, as always, you will find the whole list of ingredients inside the video description. Next step is adding garlic and just keep on stirring. And mushrooms. We cut that mushrooms, white and brown mushrooms, just into quarters and add it. Now keep on stirring and let that heat up in the Dutch oven for about 10 minutes. Then add red wine, step by step. Just make sure not to cool down the Dutch oven quickly with adding too much cold red wine. So this is why I'm doing this step by step. This is about 250 milliliters of red wine, dry red wine. Then add about the same amount of veal stock and let that reduce about 50%. As soon as you hit that more or less 50% add heavy cream. Now I have some more secret ingredients for getting creamy rich mushroom sauce which is mustard. I'm using Coleman's hot mustard. It has a nice kick flavor and gives a great color. Black pepper And let that simmer for some minutes. In the meantime, it's time to check the cooled down pork loin. It's unbelievable juicy. It's still a little bit pink in the center. This is exactly what we were looking for. I cut that into smaller pieces. Make sure not to cut them too small. Here is the result. Pink juicy pork loin. Now all you have to do now is add these pieces back into the sauce. Give it a good mix. Make sure not to cook them anymore because we don't want to overdo this. Final secret ingredient is nutmeg, which is the perfect flavor for me for creamy mushroom sauces. In case the sauce is too thin for you, make sure to thicken with cornstarch. For me, it's really, really perfect. 
And of course, as always, I'm gonna give this a shot right now. Can't wait to hear thoughts about this pork tenderloin one pot dish. I would really appreciate if you could hit that like button, leave me a comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. We are seeing us again in the upcoming days. Don't forget to visit my fan pages. You will find me on Facebook, Instagram and on TikTok. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm out. See you.